Hello and welcome to our family kitchen here on our organic farm. Tonight I'm going to show you my pie. And what, of course it's our steak pies I'm talking about. Now you will have received your steak pie all frozen from us and you'll have popped it straight in the freezer on delivery. So tonight I'm going to show you how to cook it. So what you do first is you take your steak pie out, you stick it in your fridge with the wrapper on and you leave it there for a good 10 to 12 hours. Now you don't have to just take it out at 12 hours, you can leave it a little bit longer, but I like to get it out at 5am when I go and check the cows and then it's all ready for me at night time. So, your spy's been in the fridge, go and grab it. And you start taking off the wrapper. And that's a very important part. So as you unwrap your steak pie, keep in the back of your mind that this stuff here is not actually recyclable, it's biodegradable. So pop it into your general waste, not your recycling, so it can go to landfill and degrade and be part of nature again. Next, I've got an excellent surprise for you. That's right, we're going to get you. Oh, so what you do first is you shout the dog, Jack, let him lick it up as you grab a second egg. Now, the more wise of you here are going to understand what I'm doing next. And some of you will be a little bit funky and use a whisk, but here at Ms. Gale, we know what it's like to clean eggy stuff off a whisk, so we're going to give it a good old forking. Grab your fork, fork your yolk all over the place, and once it's ready to go, grab a little bit of a brush, a nice blue one, it must feel blue here, and you know, just start at the top corner and do it nice and gently, all over your pie. However, if you're a bit of a bringer like me in a bit of a hurry, get it couped all on, spread it all about, make sure it's all covered, and that will guarantee you a shiny pie. Next up, we've got the oven. So here at Miss Gill, we've got a lovely 100 year old aga here. We know that not everyone has that. So for the more modern of you, you want to be turning on your fan assisted ovens for about 200 degrees. Your conventional oven's about 220. And if you've got that gas, number seven in the mark. So open up your oven here, get your pie in. Now you want to have the pie in there for a good hour. And after about 20 minutes into that hour, you want to check that the pastry is rising nice and golden. You don't want a distinctive colour of black. After it's all done, but we've sped up things here, a bit like Blue Peter style. And your pie is coming out all nice and golden. Now at this stage here, you want to make sure that your pie is ready. So grab another fork, don't use your eggy one, an eggy fork's never done anyone any good. Stick it right in the middle and watch for that steam rising up. Now if you're a hardcore man like me, get your finger, dig it right in the middle, ooh! If you burn your finger, you know it's ready. Now, we're all ready to get the family around the table, get it all cut up and dished out and ready to go. If you haven't ordered your pie yet, you've got 24 hours left from now. Go!